The Los Angeles County Medical Examiner Coroner has ruled the death of musician Aaron Carter as accidental. The 34-year-old singer drowned after inhaling defluoroethane and taking alprazolam. Defluoroethane is a gas used in cans of compressed air which is huffed to produce a high, while alprazolam is the generic form of brand name Xanax. If you want to stay up to date on all the latest celebrity news and gossip, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Star News. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Give this video a thumbs up and let us know in the comments who you'd like us to cover the next video. According to the report obtained by sources, Carter was incapacitated while in the bathtub as the drugs took effect, causing him to slip under the surface of the water and ultimately drown. Police found him dead in his home in Lancaster, California, on November 5, 2022. Prescription pills and drug paraphernalia were found in his bedroom. It was believed that he lost consciousness and drowned. Sadly, Carter is not the first musician to have died in a bathtub by accidental drowning while under the influence. Singers Whitney Houston and Dolores O'Riordan of the Cranberries both met the same fate. Houston had cocaine in her system when she died in the tub of a Los Angeles hotel room in 2012, while O'Riordan had alcohol and prescription medication in hers when she died in 2018 in a London hotel. Drowning is the third leading cause of unintentional injury death worldwide, according to the organization Stop Drowning Now. Alcohol use is involved in nearly one in four emergency department visits for drowning, per the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Carter's death has brought to light the issue of substance abuse and mental health. The musician had faced legal troubles and struggled with addiction over the years, for which he sought treatment. According to a source, he was still reeling from the sudden deaths of several family members, including his sister Leslie, who died of an overdose in 2012 at age 25, and his father Robert, who died in 2017 of an apparent heart attack. Aaron Carter was remembered in emotional statements shared by his older brother Nick Carter, 42, and twin sister Angel Carter, from both of whom he had become estranged in recent years. Aaron Carter's death is a tragic reminder of the dangers of substance abuse and the importance of mental health. Let us honor his memory by raising awareness about these issues and supporting those who need help. In a statement, Nick wrote, My heart has been broken today. Even though my brother and I have had a complicated relationship, my love for him has never ever faded. I have always held on to the hope that he would somehow, someday want to walk a healthy path and eventually find the help that he so desperately needed. Angel wrote, to my twin, I loved you beyond measure. You will be missed dearly. My funny, sweet Aaron, I have so many memories of you, and I promise to cherish them. I know you're at peace now. I will carry you with me until the day I die and get to see you again. Carter had faced legal issues and struggled with addiction over the years. He had sought treatment for his addiction. TMZ reported that he was pulled over for suspicion of DUI less than a week before his death. However, officers found that he wasn't under the influence after conducting a field sobriety test. The accidental death of Aaron Carter highlights the grave risks involved with drug and alcohol abuse. It's essential to recognize the warning signs of addiction and to seek help to prevent such tragic losses. What are your thoughts on the prevalence of accidental drowning cases involving drug and alcohol use? Do you think more needs to be done to raise awareness and prevent such tragedies from happening? Please share your opinion in the comments below.